Hey, how you doing? This is RJ. Today I'm going to talk about a number of subjects, but they're going to revolve around the fact that as a customer movement, I think now is the time to pour on the pressure, not to let off the pressure, because I can see cracks starting to form in the industry, and this is the time to put pressure on them to start producing better comics and better comic stories. And the crack, the biggest crack that I can see forming is the fall of graphic novels and at the same time I would say the abandonment of comics by normies. And I can see this because, well, a lot of people have covered what's going on with Ollie's discount outlet and the fact that supposedly Marvel directly contacted them to offload a massive number of graphic novels and they're being sold there at ridiculously low prices. And so a lot of people have covered this. The Umbrella Guy originally, I think it was Clownfish that broke this and then Bounding Into Comics did a little uh, blurb on it and Diversity in Comics has talked about it a couple of times. But I think most of them are missing the point. They're talking about this just shows that they're trying to pump up numbers. Yes, I say possibly, most probably that's what they're doing, but it's kind of missing the mark of what's going on. This seems to be a very good indicator of the death of the graphic novel and again the abandonment of normies of the comic book genre and there are a couple of other things going on here that no one has seemed to have mentioned ollie's and this discount chain getting graphic novels to sell for like two dollars a piece it's not the only place that this is going on and there have been a number of things going on within the last couple of weeks where Marvel has tweeted out that they're having a discount sale at Barnes & Noble. And DC put out a tweet yesterday saying the same thing. They're having a discount sale at Barnes & Noble, mostly for graphic novels. And it, the weird thing to me was that DC, in its normal Twitter site, actually retweeted the Barnes & Noble uh, tweet, which said, DC, Marvel, and Image graphic novels all on sale. And so... On DC's Twitter site, they're actually advertising not just for themselves, but for Marvel and Image at the same time, when they could have just left up their own tweet, and that was it. But, in addition to that, DC is also having a sale of its own, mostly of graphic novels. And that sounds weird when you talk about it. I mean, DC having a sale. And their sale is up to 83% off of some of these books. And you can go directly to the DC website and find this sale. And the weird thing is that you might say that they're just trying to drum up some business for comics, but most of the comics that they're selling, well, they're not normie comics. There, there are a lot of comics I've never heard of before. And at the same time, it's only digital. I forgot to mention that. It's only digital, this sale. It's nothing to do with hard copies at all. So where you have the others, they're all hard copies. People are trying to get rid of hard copies. You could say, well, they're just trying to make space in their warehouses. Here we have DC trying to put out a big, massive sale, up to 83% off of digital books. Again, most of which I've never heard of and are not something that you would normally think of as main continuity DC. And so, yes, I would say that these are all indicators of the fact that they're trying to push up their numbers for units to be sold. But something much more telling is going on here, and that is the fact that all of these things are concentrated on graphic novels. Now, I'll give you a little personal experience on this as well. Um, the closest town to me, it has a number of bookstores. The biggest one is the Chapters, and it's fairly big. I mean, if I had to guess what the floor space would be, I would say about 2,500 square feet. So that's a fairly good size for a bookstore. And a number of years ago, it used to have a magazine section that included a turnstile of comics, and it used to have a section for graphic novels itself. It was an independent section on its own shelf, apart from all the other books, and it was fairly big. It was bigger than the normal sci-fi fiction section, even. And about, I'd say, two years ago, I'm not sure, I'd have to say, it was about six months after the last, what, after the last Ultimates line came out at Marvel, um, the turnstile for the comics disappeared. And about six to eight months ago, 
the section of graphic novels got condensed into a smaller section. Now, this section of graphic novels, again, which was bigger than the fiction and the science fiction altogether and had its own stand, separate, by the way, from manga, is now has now been condensed into one shelf with manga and with movies, and it's just another small section. So from personal experience as well, I can see that my local bookstore is having trouble selling graphic novels, or at the very least, they're not selling like they used to. And again, all of these things that I've been talking about, if you take them separately, they don't mean a whole lot, but if you take them all together, they do mean a whole lot. Because it shows that people are not buying graphic novels. And again, I'll draw something else into this as well. Graphic novels is one of the places that your comic producers, I would say your image, and your Marvel and DC are trying to expand into other markets. And the thing is that they've been trying this for a number of years now. They're trying to expand into other markets beyond normal comic book readers. And number one, I would say, would be into the graphic novel. They're also trying to expand, certainly at Marvel, to younger audiences. And they have different things out like middle school books about Squirrel Girl and all this kinds of stuff. And they're also trying to expand into gamers and they're also trying to expand in the fact that they're producing more and more supposedly digital or trying to push the digital so that they can get the same amount of money for the same product which isn't printed so they don't have to spend all that money but here's the thing okay i would say graphic novels is number one on that because listening to what the people at marvel say especially sana amanat who is number two at marvel whenever a comic book fails she always says things like, well, we're going to push it into other avenues and it's going to make money there. And number one on her list always is trades. We are going to push it into a trade and hopefully it will make money in a trade. Now she goes on to other things after that, but always number one is trades. And the thing is, this is very telling again, because that's number one on the list. So you can see that they're depending on trades for money and for things to do well. And at the same time, you can see from the way and the avenue that she is pushing this, that it is not for normal comic readers. Because of course, she always talks about this in terms of, well, the comic has failed, doesn't matter, we're gonna put it into a trade, and then it's going to do well. So obviously, when she says it in that venue, she's saying that comic book readers didn't want to read this, but we're going to sell it in another avenue, that is to say in trades, and we're going to get other people besides comic book readers to buy it. Because it would make no sense to say, yes, it's going to do well as a trade if you're just depending on the same audience who didn't buy it originally to begin with in a comic. It makes no sense. So obviously, they're depending on normies to buy these books, or people outside, at the very least, outside of your comic book people to buy trade paperbacks. So there's the thing. Right there, I would say, all of these together shows that there is an abandonment by normies of comics. It is an indication of this, not just starting, but I think being in full swing. Now, you know, they thought that they were expanding into other markets because they were just selling these things because people wanted them. I don't think so. They were selling them because the movies were doing well and people decided to pick them up. That's why they would call them graphic novels, because they don't want people thinking of them as comics. They want them to think of them as something other than comics. They're graphic novels. Go ahead and buy them. You're a normie. You don't buy comics. You buy graphic novels. So if people are not buying these things, and we can see clearly that people are not buying these things, again, from personal experience, I can see in my local bookstore, they're not selling. And from the fact that Marvel and DC and Image are all having sales on their graphic novels, in different formats they're trying to get rid of them as much as possible especially through the big chains like Barnes and Noble then they're not selling they're just simply not selling at all and since graphic novels are starting to fail and again I say that they're always going to be there and they're probably always going to be on the shelves of your bookstore from now on but they're just going to be a small little section so with the death of normies buying graphic novels, this is going to cut off another revenue stream for 
the big comic producers. They're losing that right now. We can see that from what's going on. And th again, this is the time to put pressure on them for good stories because this is not them failing altogether. And they're going to put a push on for trying to sell to other people as well, the other avenues that I talked about. They're not going to abandon this strategy of using our money from buying comics to actually draw in a new audience to replace us. They're going to keep this up. However, uh, I would say, again, other avenues are failing as well. The whole let's market the little girls thing and little children that Marvel is doing, I would say that's failing as well. I ran across recently something that, honestly, it was just random. I was on Amazon and I hit a page that said, cheap squirrel girl merchandise. <laughs> and I'm not joking. That's what it was listed as, cheap squirrel girl merchandise. And they had all of these things. They had t-shirts and they had books because again, there's these YA books and there's middle school books and they have their graphic novels and everything else. And they're just not selling. They're trying to offload them as quickly as possible, especially if they put cheap in the title. So they're not selling to little kids. So that's another avenue that's not working for them. So where are they going to push next? Where are they going to concentrate on next? Well, I would say they're going to try to concentrate on the gamers and they're going to try to pull as many gamers in as possible. I can't see that happening. I can see them doing it on their Twitter pages and on their main pages for Marvel and DC. They're trying to draw these people in, but these people are buying stuff because they are already comic book people. I would say there's very little overlap if you're not a comic book person, you might play a comic book game like Spider-Man just because it's a good game, but that's not going to get you to buy a lot of merchandise from Marvel. It might get you to buy some. But at the same time, we have Marvel now announcing that they're going to have a graphic novel for League of Legends, and it's going to come out in February, I do believe. But the weird thing is that even though it's going to come out in February, it's going to be available digitally in December. So they're going to sell it for a number of months digitally only. So again, here's another indication that they're trying to get rid of print. They're trying to push for digital. They want digital. And I can see this going on for a number of years now. They're trying to push the digital and it's just not happening. That's why they're giving away free digital books if you buy a normal book. I mean, the only reason a large company gives anything away for free is because, well, they're like a pusher, right? They say, here, have this for free. And then once you get hooked on it, then they'll say, okay, now you can pay me for it. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get rid of print. But there has been new studies out showing that, guess what? People who thought that print was dead, they're wrong. There's always going to be digital from now on, but digital sales have started to fall. And the sales of hard copy books have started to rise again. People want hard copy books again. And this has just been shown by studies of the market for book sales and for digital book sales. So again, there's a number of these factors all coming into play, especially I would say the number one, the death of the sale of graphic novels to normies. But these companies, Marvel, DC, Image, the rest of them, they're going to try their best to try to rope in these other people. And it's shown time after time that they're failing. So now is the time to put pressure on them because I would say within the next year, year and a half, this is when they're going to have to realize that we need to produce good stories, new stories. Because again, the reason why they're not producing good stories and new stories is partly because they're trying to rope in all of these normies, all of these other people who are not comic book fans and never were. And since they're roping them in, they don't have to create any new good stories because they can just sell them the old stories in trade paperbacks or digitally, anything like that. They can just regurgitate them and say, here, we have this 80 year history of good stories. Come and read some. But the normal comic book reader says, I already read those. You need to give me something good and new. And they're still not getting the fact that no, we need to produce new good stories. Anyways, I know this is a little bit all over the place, but I had a number of these threads just popping up and showing me that this is the time to pour on our pressure for good stories. Hopefully I've given you something new to think about. If I did, hit like, hit the shield in the lower right hand corner of your screen to subscribe and leave me a message. 
Let me know what you think about what is going on with trade paperbacks and these sales of them. All right, I'll see you later.